hello guys welcome to this channel in this video i'm gonna show you how you can download and install mysql on your mac so open your browser and search mysql in the search bar after that click on this first link mysql official website then go to the download section and after scrolling down uh, just click on this my mysql community downloads so if you are a window user click on this installer for window and for mac go for community server make sure you are downloading this cross 8664 dmg file note this arm file so make sure you are downloading this and click on this download button there is no need to sign up here so just simply click no thanks just start my download so for workspace you have to download workbench for it so simply go back and click on this mysql workbench so you have to follow the same procedure as you did before download and no need to sign up so just click there and your download will start after downloading just close your browser and open the finder go to the download section and double tap on this mysql dmg file after that double tap on this package file just allow this again allow and then continue and then continue and agree your license then install this will take 774 mb space on your mac so simply type your pa mac password here after that install software this may take a little bit of time so your installation is finished so this is recommended to use strong password then click next now you have to create a password for your mysql server so simply type your password here and then finish it and again type your mac password here and simply press ok And congratulations your mysql server is installed so simply close it and move to bean there is no need to keep this file simply close this and now double tap on your mysql workbench now simply drag this mysql icon to the application folder and simply close it and close it now open your terminal and search mysql there and this is your mysql workbench on clicking this plus sign you can create your mysql server just name the server and you there is no need to change anything you have to enter the password which you have created before for your mysql server just enter it and simply press ok you can also test the connection by clicking here and it is successfully launched ok and ok now you can use either of your server for your workspace just click 
and enter your created password for MySQL server. Simply press OK. And now this is your workspace. So thank you guys for watching this video. I will see you in the next.